Hey, hello. Sweet Tooth here. I hope your day is going well. Let's play some Reseteer, an item shop's tale. Continue on where we left off. Hey! Oh my gosh. Idiot! Yes. Why does he have to be concerned? Ah, why can't it be enter? Why can't I set this configuration correctly to what I actually want? Um, whatever. Um, what am I doing? Day two. I want to sell some stuff. Oh, yes. Wait, it will? Opening a shop will take one period of time. Does that mean I have four periods of time? Konnichiwa! Hi there. What can I get you? Ah, oh, little lady, how much for this? That's gonna cost you, old man! Good deal, little lady! Thank you so much! Yeah, sold leather glove for 255 picks. Welcome! I'm on an errand today, isn't that cool? Alright. No. No. Okay, it's about 640. Yeah. Um, could you make that a little cheaper? Sure thing! This is getting dumb. I made them mad, didn't I? Well, then they don't get the item! I'm running an errand. Alright. 620. You can make it a bit less. Alright, I'll make it 610. I'm going home. I wonder, do I really have no talent? No, they just need to buy it. Alright. Welcome, if you need anything, just ask. Hey, could I purchase this? Yes, you can. Well, that seems good enough. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's all leather armor for 610 picks. Welcome. Mommy told me to buy this. Alright. Gonna cost you. Could I pay a little less? 105? Okay, All right. Hi there. Oh, this will do. All right. 250. Can't buy it at that price, you know. All right. It's about 240. Well, that'll do, I suppose. Thanks. Please come again. I sold Warren Sword for 240 picks. Alright, what am I doing? Going to a dungeon will take two periods of time. This action will not take any time. To the pub and the market. What's in town square? Looks like nobody's here. Market? Came to the market. Charm made of uh, dried seed from a distant land. The seeds rattle slightly and shaken. No. 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 Uh, back, back, leave. Pub? Looks like nobody's here. Nobody's at the pub? Oh yeah, it's that night. Chapel. Nobody's here. When would they show us the chapel? In the morning? Talk? Anything new? Alright. 
after tonight. I'm going for the big guns. Back here? Put it right there. Make some big bucks. Hello, welcome to the here. Hey, how much for this? I would say 300 bucks. That's a pretty good deal to be honest. Thank you so much. Yeah, I sold scrap plate for 250 pips. Reset, may I have a moment, please? I'm gonna fail this. Sure, what's up? Concerning the debt, I have a suggestion concerning this repayment. You do? Paying it all back at once is wholly beyond your means. So I recommend smaller weekly payments to slowly chip away at it. Holy beyond? Uh, you know, you never told me how big Papa's debt is exactly. That is because you would faint if you found out. For now, it is a secret. I think. As the store build begins, store begins to build up steam, we will increase payment size. The repayment date nearest to the current date, along with the amount due, will be displayed on the calendar in the main menu. Please be sure to check it regularly. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it. Bone shark. Oh. Anybody in the chapel? Say, here, you came from a uh, finance company, right? What on earth? It yes, that is right. I work for a term for finance. So you're employed by them, right? What's it like? No, that is not quite accurate. I was contracted to term me through another organization. Thus, I am not really em an employee, per se. So you're just contracted? I'm surprised you seem so... It is not that surprising. Almost all fairies in human society belong to a very specific contract agency. There are, of course, a free, few free agent fairies out there as well, and... But that's how it works. Er, uh, yes. To tell the truth, it can be difficult for fairies to find employment in human society. So the agencies were founded in an age ago in order to help facilitate fairy livelihoods. That's amazing. Quite. That's great. Hmm, I love being able to relax in the plaza like this. You never seem to have trouble relaxing even when we are not in the plaza. <laughs> yeah, well, it's healthy, right? <laughs> Say, what's this place? This is the Adventurer's Guild. The guild manages expeditions to the various untamed wilderness areas of or abandoned ruins near the city. The area is commonly referred to as dungeons. Without approval, adventurers cannot visit the dungeons. Ah, nuts. So we can't just go into a dungeon and pick up everything we see? If we could do that, we could sell everything. we get a 100% profit. It is still a very good idea. A great many people have made fortunes that way. If you wish to do so, however, we must first hire an adventurer. Hire? Can we just pick anybody? The truth of the matter is a bit more complicated. Even if you pay them, few adventurers are willing to risk their lives simply for the benefit of a complete stranger. Ooh. So they turn people away? So they turn away people they don't know very well? Indeed. You should first get to know a few adventurers and build up a certain level of trust with them. If all goes well, they will give you a symbol of their guild membership. This usually takes the form of a card. With that in hand, we can bring an adventurer with us. So it's like they're inviting us to a dinner party? 
Well, dinner parties usually do not include blood mad beasts attempting to rip you from limb, limb from limb. But the analogy does work. So what? Right. So first I need to meet an adventure. Hmm. Which for us should not be that difficult, yes? After all, we run an item shop, so we should get a few coming in as clients on a reg fairly regular basis. Oh yeah. Well then, I'll do my best to get a dinner invitation. Indeed. Just be careful that reset is not on the menu. Huh? Something wrong? Well, that guy over there. Listen to me. If I can't get work, I can't get the money. If I can't get the money, I can't get the items. And if I can't get the items, apparently I can't work. Ah! Heavens, if I had a few things, I could at least visit the Hall of Trials. I wonder what's going on. He seems to be a rookie adventurer complaining about his inability to complete the required guild test. Guild test? Well, the guild hardly allows anyone in off the street. You can only work officially for the guild after passing a test. An item shop owner is hardly the only job with challenges. Hmm, I have an idea. What? I do believe we have found our first adventure. Wait, what do you mean by- Hey, Tira, wait! <sighs> Son of a- I burned what cash I had just getting to this place. I can't get into that guild. I don't know what I'll even do for dinner money. I'm hungry. Great. Pardon me a moment. You there, adventurer with the seedy look. Who you calling seedy? Uh, uh, well, you two would be... We are a pair of merchants who happen to be passing. Merchants? Oh, you heard me talking. Sorry, but I'm way too broke and seedy to buy anything. Believe me, I could tell by your seedy nature that attempting to sell you anything would be a colossal waste of time. Come on, here, stop with the seedy already. He isn't a plant. So are you two going to prune me, or what here? What would you like it if we came with you to the Hall of Trials? If you require equipment or items, we can provide them. I'll call you a pair of angels then, but why? Business, naturally. We help you pass the trial. You provide us with your card. Oh, I get it. We help Mr. Swordsman clear the dungeon, and then he gives us his card. A sign of our internal friendship. Eternal friendship is rather irrelevant in this case. But it does work out neatly for all of us. What do you say? I see. You guys are pretty new at all of this too, huh? Our offer, Mr. Swordsman? Yes or no? Yes! Alright then. Heck, I got nothing to lose. Well, aside from my precious life, anyway. Yayifications! Glad to meet you too. Uh, I'm Reset, nice to meet you. I am Tyr. Uh, Call me Louis. Louis the Swordsman. Good to meet you. Yes, yes. Now then, we will begin all the preparations for a dungeon visit. Including a visit to the Central Market to pick up food and other restorative items. We will then return here for you when we are ready. Right, I'll be waiting here. Uh, worn sword, leather armor, wooden shield, old muffler. Market. 
Up. Yep. Alright. Sell some stuff. Hello, welcome to the rest of here. Would you sell this to me, my girl? Oh, heck yeah. 2300? Too expensive, girl, my just cheaper. 2200. Alright, that's good price. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's old iron spear. Holy cow, it's late. Time seemed to fly by today. Speaking of time, I plan on doing some mild schedule management for you from now on to ensure you are working in an effective manner to pay back the debt. Schedule management? Quite. First, I have broken up the day into four time periods. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. What you can do and how much you can do depends on the time of day. Hey, yeah, the clock's been broken up into four areas. Think of each part as a slice of each time. A slice, hmm, like pie. Indeed. I thought I would be able to keep your attention if I made it rather similar to some sort of sweet food. Exactly. So there's the morning slice. The afternoon? I'm getting hungry. Ahem, anyway. Now to explain in detail. Generally, you can only act between morning and night. When night ends, you need to get to bed. Trying to run a shop while sleep deprived is unpleasant, so... I'll say, I'll close up when it gets late. So you essentially have two options for each slice. You can open the store for a time or go about town on business. You cannot do both at once, so decide in advance what you need to do. To be clear, Opening the shop will consume a slice, and returning to the store after going out, regardless of what you actually do, will also consume a slice. What if I go to, like, the plaza and then the chapel? You can get around town easily enough to avoid consuming a slice with each move, only when you return to the store will the clock advance. So in that case, I should do a lot when I leave the shop. Yes, that is a good attitude. Right. Now! Coco. There's another vital element, leaving town altogether. Visiting a dungeon will consume two slices no matter what. It will? It takes that long? So if I go in the morning, I'll get back in the evening? That is precisely how it works. Thus you can only leave for a dungeon at an early point in the day. If it is night, or you have done something else that evening, you cannot go. Because if I do, did go, I'd get back real late, right? Exactly. Not only would you annoy your adventure companions with staying out so late, you would also be dead on your feet the next day after returning. And this is a lot to wrap my head around. You will get used to it, I am sure. I don't think so. Before you know it, you will be thinking about it naturally. I really doubt it. You think so? Well... It helps that you still always, you will always be able to see how much time a particular action will consume. Simply pay attention to the clock. That is everything. If you ever want to go over this again, simply ask me when we are in the shop. I will be glad to go over it as often as you need. Pie cake. So, does that mean I can still go on the dungeon? I would like to go to a dungeon. Shit. I still need... A shield and a leather armor. No! Alright, fine. Alright, um...
Well, can I go to the pub? It looks like nobody's here. Okay, no. Yep, open the store. Oh crap, I didn't put anything down! Hey, could I purchase this? Yeah, sure. Alright then, I'll call it out for a meal! Good night. Good night. Idiot! Put down the items you want to sell. Like father, like daughter. Oh, come on! That was harsh. Closed! Darn you! Big sis, wait! You walk so fast, wait up! That girl. Here, is something wrong? Ah, no, it is nothing. Oh, you were looking at those sisters. Hey, dear, how do you think people see us? How do? Do you think we look like sisters? Given that I am a fairy, I rather doubt it. Oh, right. Chill, if we did, I'd be kinda happy. Really? Why is that? Well, since I'm bigger, I'd be the big sister, right? Your logic, as always, is breathtaking in its faultiness. Yeah, I guess you would be the big sister. But that'd be really nice, too. Right, sis? Get this nonsense up and I will leave you behind. Hey, wait for me. Looks like nobody's here. Back away slowly. Nobody's here. An apple? Everybody likes candy! Yes! Candy store! Leather armor, old muffler. Is the adventurer gone? I don't know. I need to sell stuff. Hi there. Would you sell this to me, my girl? Yeah, sure. There we go. Well, that'll do, I suppose. Thanks, please come again. Oh yeah, I sold cloth for 1,280 picks. That's it? Well then, you seem to have developed a basic understanding of how to sell things to people and not drive them to burn the shop in anger. Yepperoni, easy as pie. Being a truly great store owner involves more than selling things, however. There are times when people will want to sell items to you as well. Really? I suspect, suspect we will begin to get such offers soon. But I already buy stuff from the guild in the market. So why should I worry about buying stuff from the customers? There's one major difference between a guild or market purchase and a purchase from an individual. Individuals do not have set prices. In other words, you can haggle as you do when selling. Haggle down, that is. Ooh, so I can get stuff really cheap? But that seems like it'd be pretty hard. Fundamentally, buying and selling are not that different. The customer shows you an item they wish to sell, and then you set a price and perhaps negotiate. Obviously, you wish to pay less than the base price of the item. Right, so buy low, sell dear, right? Just so, that is the very core of a successful business. Now then, shall we practice? The fundamental procedure is the same as when sewing. Heyo! Welcome to rest of here. Would you buy this for me? I'm okay, I need to name a price lower than the base. So, uh, I think press down. Come on, me, you can do this. So, what shall I set it to? Seventy-two. 
Not bad, but I suspect most customers will be fine with going lower. Try lowering the price a bit more. 70% or less, perhaps. 70% less? Excellent, this is a good price level. Now then, let us practice haggling over the price a little. The concept is essentially the same as selling something. Now that you have offered a price you believe to be fair, adjust your offer until they agree to sell it to you. Okay. Let us begin then. Could you offer me a little more? I think it's worth a lot. Uh, okay, so I need to set a higher offer price. One! That's all you get. Yes, between 15% and 70% of the base is a good target. You will gain an item to sell without giving up too much money. And that is essentially how it goes. You seem to have a decent enough grasp of it. Well, let us put theory into practice again. I will sell you several items. If you buy them from me successfully, I believe you will be ready to proceed. Well, let us begin. What would you be willing to pay for this? Five bucks. Could you be a little higher, perhaps? Forty-six. Yes, an excellent price. Yay. <laughs> yes, well done. Let us do that once more. Welcome to Resetir, what would you be willing to pay for this? Alright, we're gonna do down to... I don't know. 483. Could you go a little higher perhaps? 14, uh, 1484. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got a thankful statue. Very, very good. You are ready. If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask. I will not. Uh. Should I go out? I am failing this so badly. Pub. Hmm. What is it? Say, Tear, is alcohol yummy? I have only tried it before myself. Really? Wow, you're so grown up, Tear. I hated it. The stink of barrels. Barrels? Typically, most alcoholic beverages are left to age in barrels, so the drink had a strong wooden smell, and it was not dissimilar to the attempting to drink a tree. Okay, that doesn't sound yummy at all. To be honest, the popularity of the substance baffles me. It always sells well, so stocking it is always a good way to make some money, but... But barrels. Barrels. Alright. Hmm. Something wrong, ma'am. Oh, just wondering what to do for dinner tonight. For some reason, the only thing that comes to mind is what I usually make. What do you usually make, then? Well, I make pumpkin, pumpkin, gratin, sheep gratin, shark gratin. I think I see the problem. If I may interject, if you like gratin so much, why not try a stew? They are somewhat similar. I always find pumpkin stew irresistible, but that is off the side point. Pumpkin stew? That's a wonderful idea, huh? Try it out tonight. Glad we could help. Thank you so much, you two. Now to make stew for the next month. That's not quite what I had in mind. I shall get this. Nobody here. 
And nobody here. Alright, I think when it flashes, somebody is there. Or something will happen. Alright, I guess I gotta go back. I think... I think the uh, Adventurer's Guild is closed on, like, the weekend. Will be handy. Candy is always handy. Turn your name, ma'am. Customer service seems to be a lost art these days. Alright. 370. That's just fine. Thank you. Alright. Come on, guys. Pie I'm tired. Go rest and tomorrow we'll be busy. Acceptable. Time to run around in circles. Alright. Back to you. What do you want? Oh. Alright. Pick the items you wish to bring with you. When finished, selected the part option at the top of the list. Let's go! Hall of Trials. So this is the dungeon? Just so, welcome to the jungle, as they say. You know, are we just going... To hold Louie back here. I mean, I'm not a monster slayer. I'm scared. The two of us are perfectly safe. There is a protective field around the two of us. To the monsters, we may as well be invisible. So really? That's amazing. So Louie's perfectly safe too, then? Uh, not quite. Nande? Why not? While in the field, we do not need to worry about monsters, but this is accomplished by making us virtually intangible to everything inside this place. We can directly manipulate nothing. Wait, we can't collect things? Why are we here then? That's why our adventurer remains outside the field. Oh, I see. He'll pick stuff up for us. Should our adventurer be injured, we can place him in the field and retreat. Since we, we must carry him back, however, we can take very little else with us. One item at most. So even if we run into trouble, we don't lose everything? But wait, I thought you said we can't... Yes, I will elaborate further if we need be later. Naturally, if we get out safely, we can bring as much as our bags will allow us to carry. Cool. Wait, as much as our bags will allow? Well, our bags are not bottomless. If we run out of space, it will be up to us to decide what to keep or discard. So the adventurer focuses on adventure. While we keep track of what loot we should keep. I guess that makes sense. Day o' day. Let's get to it. Alright. Yeah, this is kind of cool. This is pretty cool. Back 
こいつ大丈夫だってちゃんとついてこいよ。ついてこいよ。よし、行きましょう。ドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥ。Stop throwing crap at me.
Calm down, I thought this might happen, as I was saying earlier. If an adventurer is injured while exploring for us, we will bring that item into our field and then we can shall book it back home, as the saying goes. Normally we would not be able to bring any items with us, loot or otherwise, but thanks to the special little box the guild gave us, we can bring back at least one item. Okay, wow, that box is really tiny. Can't fit much in there. Just so. Choose carefully, then. We can only pick one item, so make sure it is valuable. Will do. Just one item? Uh. All right, we'll do this. Sounds weird. Oh, I can hear the crow crows going. Time to go home. Oh, it's already evening. You enjoy the evening, don't you? To be honest, until recently, I despise the evenings. I always had to go home to an empty house. Ah. But now? Now I have you at home, so I'm not lonely anymore. Alright, we should get home then. To the pub! Hey, hey, dear. Hmm, what is it? Why are adventurers in the pub so often? Do they all like alcohol that much? Well, adventurers certainly do enjoy their liquid pleasure, but a pub like this also handles quests for adventurers. Therefore, many of the people here are looking for work. Isn't that kind of stuff handled by the Adventurers Guild? The Guild does also handle, does also handle some quests, but remember, you can only hire a Guild adventurer officially if you possess the Guild card of that person, assuming they have one at all. Therefore, places like this tend to offer a different kind of quest, more daily, run-of-the-mill business, if you will. Clients do not pay as much as guild-sponsored ones, but this sort of place is also far friendlier to rookies. However, if their quest is too simple or moronic, it is likely no one will even attempt to do it. Look, the requests are posted up there on the wall. Let us have a look, shall we? Uh, let's see. Please find my lost kitty. Can I hire someone to stand in a ticket line for me? Please kill ten crows around the garbage dump. Green item offered. Can one of you hot studs be my... Um, wow, there's quite a variety. While it is true that they are often used as glorified handymen, in a way this sort of thing is a sign of how much adventurers have blended into daily life in the city. That's true. Hey, actually, we should do this quest. I mean... I love to help someone find their kitty. Uh, no, I'm afraid we cannot. While anyone can post a request, only those registered with the Adventurers Guild can legally take on such a request. So I am afraid we cannot do anything listed here. That's a bummer. Alright. Let's buy some stuff. I'm looking for something special. Oh yeah, I was looking for one of these. Alright. But uh, isn't that a little much? Alright, fine. 600. I guess that's a good price. Buy something! Oh, uh, welcome to Rissa Tier. I was looking for this. Alright! Is that much? You can't bring it down. Alright. What it? Alright, I'll take that back. Cool. Buy something. Hi there, you have one of these? It's a lucky day for both of us. Alright. I sure do. Can't ask you to go lower. Right, I'll take it. Alright, craft your knife. Now buy something. Nope. Oh, no. 
Alright. Exceeded expectations. I think I'm getting the hang of. Oh shit, I only have two days? Well, I think I'm getting the hang of it now. So, I'm gonna leave off the video here. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. I hope you have yourself a good day. This is Sweet Tooth, signing off.